What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to solve most problems with uh, uh, Ford Explorer, uh, Lincoln Mountaineer, uh, and um, I believe the Mustangs from 04 to 09. Uh, I'm talking about the transmission 5R55S or 5R55N. Um, this car has the 5R55S, there is no check engine light, uh, the transmission is shifting funny uh, when it's cold when it's when it gets warm uh, the symptoms pretty much disappear so in most cases like that the valves are sticking in the solenoid uh, pack um, so I'm gonna remove the pan remove the filter drop the solenoid pack and rebuild it you can if you don't feel confident rebuilding it you can buy a new one off eBay remanufactured it runs around a hundred bucks so uh, I'm gonna show you how to do that today in some cases uh, it's not just the solenoid pack it's the valve body itself so if you have any symptoms in your transmission it is worth uh, researching on the internet and see what kind of symptoms relate to what kind of failure parts so um, in my case I could not find any uh, Thing that says the valve body is, is, is st sticking or anything like that so I am gonna go with uh, the solenoid pack and uh, get it uh, cleaned up and rebuilt and get the solenoid pack like a mani remanufactured uh, condition and then I'm gonna put it back in put new fluid new filter and um, we'll see what happens I'll let you know at the end of the video uh, so with that being said uh, let's get started on the work Okay, so the tools that you're gonna need for this job are uh, eight millimeter for the oil pan bolts, T30 for the solenoid pack, 10 millimeter for uh, the plug on the top. We may need to switch to a 10 millimeter wrench and seven eighths uh, to drain the, the fluid and just a flathead screwdriver. Uh, I may be using a uh, quarter inch impact to help speed the process. Okay, so that's the drain bolt. So first thing I'm gonna drain the fluid again this is 7 8 So we have it ready. Okay, now that it's done draining, I'm gonna put the drain plug back in. Now I'm gonna start removing the pan bolts all around. Okay, now that the pan, the all the bolts are off, I just have to last two bolts. We're gonna remove them and drop the pan carefully. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna hold it. Okay, that last one here. Drop it 
forward like so, nice and clean. Oops. Okay, now remove the filter. Oops, we dropped the bolt a bit. Okay, here's the top one. Pop, pop it. Yep, just like so. I'm gonna remove the bolts that hold the solenoid here. Okay, now that the pan and the solenoid are out, you wanna check for two things. First, that there's nothing uh, in your oil pan that it shouldn't be there, like the anchor for the bands or anything like that. So this pan is not cleaned. Um, I, just, I just wiped off the magnet. There was some very fine metal particles, which is okay. See, this is really clean. There's no strange parts in here, like anchors or any transmission parts that have fallen. This is number one. Number two is that you wanna take your solenoid apart. So this sits right there. There's two pins that you push out, one right here and one down here. And this comes out like this. And then you wanna check this screen. See this screen right here? You wanna look deep in it. Make sure that nothing is blocking the screen and there's no metal particles in it. And then you clean both and put them back. So this is good. Now I'm going to rebuild the solenoids, however I'm not going to show that because I'm not an expert and I'm, I'm really not, this is my first time doing this so I don't want to show you anything wrong but in your case you might be buying a new one or a remanufactured one so you just put it back in um, but before, very important, before you put it back in, you want to when you put it back together you want to submerge it to, in transmission fluid up to the o-ring right here so it can work all the air bubbles out and then we put it back in the car we put the new filter the new pan okay guys so i have put everything back together in the car um it's just the opposite of taking it apart the the solenoid uh, bolts get torqued to six foot pounds which is uh a uh, which is i believe uh, 82 inch pound and the the filter and the pan bolts get torqued to 96 inch pounds which is eight foot pounds so just put it all back together and I'm going to be using this OTC 6604 adapter to fill the transmission. I'll show you in a second. Um, and I will be using this pump to pump the fluid in. This is a 12 volt pump that goes on your battery. This is 20 bucks on eBay. It's worth every penny. Uh, so I'll be using also this transmission fluid it, on the back here. It says compatible with Ford Mercon 5 right here okay I ordered this on walmart.com it was $18 each gallon I got two gallons so we're gonna pump five quarts in and then uh, we're just gonna start the car and uh, and get it leveled and then check the oil level the fluid level okay now that I have filled it with the pump. I put six quarts in. I'm gonna start it now and run it through the gears and then leave it to warm up. And then I'm, I have a thermometer, laser thermometer. I'm gonna make sure the oil in the oil pan and the fluid in the transmission is between 80 and 120 and open the drain plug. Right, now I'm gonna run it through the gears. Reverse. Nice smooth engagement. Park. Uh, neutral. Drive. Very nice engagement.
Okay, so now the transmission is at 90 degrees. I'm gonna open the drain. So it needs more fluid. Okay, now the excess is coming out. I'll have the drain plug ready when it starts trickling. Okay. Once it starts trickling, I'm gonna just shut it. A little bit more. Okay, right there it's pretty good. Awesome. All right guys, so it is done after like three hours on my back. I think this is a very wasteful way to fill the transmission. I, I dumped like two quarts, so all this is uh, pretty much waste about two quarts and uh otherwise the 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 everything was smooth um it took me yeah two and a half to three hours and uh hopefully this fixes all the issues uh, i will uh, honestly report in the description below if everything was fixed so hopefully it helps other people and um it it, it shows them how to fix their own transmission in these cars so with that being said i appreciate you watching please let me know what you think in the comment section please hit that red subscribe button and i will catch you in the next one thank you very much